What is up everybody? Justin from Forever Self-Employed. This is episode two of my collection series. So this week I had three locations that I was collecting from, all of which are nursing homes, which are also called retirement facilities. But what I'm also gonna be doing is, I wanna go ahead and go over some of the questions that I got on last week's collection video and also give a few shout outs to some people who commented on that. I wanna thank everyone for their support on that video. Uh, so far, I'm at 700 views, which is absolutely incredible. I wanna thank everybody for their support on the channel as well. I've been getting a lot of you know good comments, a lot of thumbs up and things of that nature. And I just wanna thank you guys because I appreciate it so much. I'm really gonna try and grow this channel over the course of the next few months. So thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get into it. I just counted up all the money. So here's the cash right here. Also have some quarters, nickels, dimes, so the total for this week's bin collection was $367. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first comment. The first comment is by the sportsman. He says, please make a video of how you get your machines in nursing homes. So I'll go ahead and cover that right now. The way I did that was, is my dad was actually the manager over two of these retirement facilities. They weren't having a good experience with their vendor there. So what he did was he got them to be removed. He just asked if I could put my machines in there and I got my machines in there. And the third one was actually my stepmom was working at that one. They had just built that one. I approached um, upper level management asked them if I could possibly put a vending machine in there. They agreed to it, and so that is how I got my three nursing home vending locations. I hope that answers your question. Definitely leverage who you know. In this business, like pretty much any other business, is all about who you know. If you know the right people, you can get into the right places. I wanna give a shout out to my boy, uh, boy swag. He said, I love watching car flipping videos and these videos, you deserve more subscribers. So thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate that. Another comment on the car flipping videos. I will have more coming. It's just, it takes a lot of capital for the car flipping videos. They're just a lot less frequent. I had a problem on my last flip. So when that video comes out, you guys will get to see that problem. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for me and let's get into um, the next shout out. Next shout out goes to the Marcado channel. He says, killing it, man. That's amazing. And yes, vending has been a very popular topic lately. I think this guy actually has a vending channel as well. So shout out to the Marcado channel. Really appreciate the support, man. Shout out to Sean the Hustler. He says, hell yeah, man, with the clappy emoji. I love it. Thank you for the comment, brother. Uh, Brad Collins says, love seeing the new upload. Appreciate it, Brad. Very much appreciated. Climax Gaming says, love the video. Please, more collection videos. So this is episode two in my collection series. If you guys wanna see anything different, if you have any requ requests, please leave those in the comment section below. Um, if you have any questions, I'll answer them in the next collection video. And if you just wanna make a comment, I'll give you a shout out as well. So win-win uh, there. Big shout out to my boy, Bryn70SSS. He says, very interesting, nice job. He comments on every video. Greatly appreciate the support, brother. Really appreciate that. Um, and last and final shout out for the video uh, is a question. It's from Colin Fitzgerald. He says, how much money did you make? How often do you empty your machines? So um, on that last collection video, I made about $600 because I didn't empty them for about two weeks. So these machines make um, anywhere from 300 to 350 a week. Um, so about $100 a location per week. I will fill them um, anywhere from one week to two weeks, so sometimes it's one and a half. It just kind of depends on my schedule. I am a college student, I do have other businesses, and these machines are located an hour away from me since I moved. So um, when I go fill them, kind of varies. The time kind of varies. So anyway, that pretty much does it for this week's collection video. I wanna thank everybody for um, their continued support. I wanna thank everybody for their questions. Like I said, if you have any questions, if you have any comments that you guys wanna leave down in the comment section, I will give you a shout out and I will answer your question in the next collections video. If there's anything I can do to improve this series, please let me know. Anything else you'd like to see, please let me know. I wanna thank you guys for the continued support. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Until next time, peace.